on a couple of the other sides, you had heavy drums all, yeah. all over the place. So right. you see the deeper and deeper they and you see the grooves make big divots. In so you can make adjustments as you go along. That's what the computer does. Yeah. But being that this was kind of an interesting situation, it worked out fine. I, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, on the 12 that you got lucky with that. Yeah. Hopefully with the 45, since it's the same two tracks, we should be okay. Right. So this is truly old school then. Oh yeah. Okay. It's all good. Do you want to go back just to that one spot just for the hell of it? This part. The end? The end of execution there with the reverb. I'm just paranoid, that's all. Good. 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 What are you looking for? Uh, vertical lifts. Because there's the drums with the stuff on the sides. Mm -hmm. But this is good. Yeah. Now just need the microscope to confirm that the cut is smooth. We're good. Now, the tricky one may be the 45, but you know what? I don't see a lot of vertical stuff happening in either track, so I'm going to go with my best guesstimate for pitch and depth. And we'll just, because with 45, let's see, first song is 218. So 100 lines per inch at about 4 mils should do it without a problem. The B side, I'll have to think that a little further. Hello? Yeah, you ready, Ray? Yeah, just hold one second. I mean, was it the last It was, yeah, and, and that, that was something that was important because I was turning over the side and it was a letdown right. initially. And not only because of the way the mix was, but uh, because of it just didn't have any impact right and but I we think corrected it. I think yeah okay well it'll be the way yeah, it was yeah that that's the only thing that I was I don't want to change these things too much from the way they were I'm trying to um, like remember when we brought in the albums and we listened to them and we tried to um, match the EQ uh, we made some changes overall but overall it had the same um, basic um, feel of yeah. the originals and um, but that's what you're saying is fine. We'll go with that approach. We'll we'll create yeah, new CDs been from happy this. With the way things sound, I'm mean, very happy. There's no reason yeah. why we shouldn't do the CDs like that. No. Yeah. There's no reason not to. Down, so it's ready for its trip to California. Nice. was, uh, I mean, when I say standard, or pretty much 99%, 95% of all the record companies would cut six sets of masters initially. They would go to an East Coast plant, a Midwest plant, and a West Coast plant. Everybody would get two sets mm -hmm. to produce enough records, you know. And, yeah. Is there anything you can do, go further, to make it even more analog at this point? Not really. No. I mean, it's just, it's the process in itself, the analog aspect of the cutting, the mechanical, and that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Huh. That's great.